Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do want to apologize, I know we're behind. I keep telling you guys um, that it's been crazy busy and you guys have no idea. For those of you guys that are trying to schedule uh, consultations, we are now booking for April and May. Just letting you guys know. Um, for those of you guys that have emailed me, thank you guys so very much for your patience. I know it's been very difficult. We're still trying to catch up to the past two months. Uh, we're getting there. <laughs> so I do respond to everyone. If I have not responded to you, please don't take it personal. Just know that I'm trying the best I can to catch up to all the emails. Okay, let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March 2021. Let's see what Spirit has here. All right, and we're going to be doing the shells, then we'll, we'll, la, 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 la. sorry, tongue tied here. Then we're going to jump into the tarot, and then we're going to pull out the oracle card for you. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what's coming, what's new. All right, off the bat, you guys are dealing with people from the past, or you're going to be dealing with a specific individual from your past. It's almost like a feeling like... You have to be there for them emotionally. Um, I feel that for a lot of them, they may be dealing with karma. They may be dealing with things that they've put out into the universe. And it's almost like there is this soft part in your heart that you're like, you know, I don't want them to be going through this um, feeling alone or, or anything like that. I feel that you're trying to be there like as an emotional support. However... Sometimes people have to deal with their karma and you don't get involved, Leo. You don't deal with that. You have to let them face that and deal with it themselves, okay? Now, the reason I say this is I know when Leos are done, they're done. <laughs> I get that. But I do feel that this person may have like a soft spot in your heart or you may feel like circumstances are sad um, or it's been difficult on them. And you have a huge heart, even though you don't like to show it. So I feel that you are going to be feeling a bit confused, um, not in how you feel for them, but you are going to be questioning, like, do I still have feelings because I still care for them? Uh, again, don't feel like it is your responsibility. We all have to deal with our own BS, with our own, you know, karma lessons that have came up based on our choices in the past so yeah let them deal with that now I do see here a lot of progress and a lot of movement I feel that there's going to be a lot of movement in regards to your career in regards to your finances in regards to how you make money so this could be like a lot of changes happening in the workplace um, new hires um, people getting laid off that type of energy it's not going to affect you but you are going to feel a bit frustrated it could be because you're working longer hours it could be because you're working or busting your ass a little bit more than usual um but this is this is a good thing because i feel that this new energy that's coming in is going to be like more in sync more in harmony uh this is you know uh if you have a tendency of picking up where other people slack off i feel that this <clears throat> these new people that are coming in are going to have the same work ethic as you. And I think that that's going to release some of the stress or some of the pressures that you've been dealing with in the past. I do see a lot of assistance coming towards you. Pay attention to your dreams, Leos. I feel that you guys are uh, being guided or being spiritually guided um, through your dreams. So you're having a lot of vivid dreams. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be uh, you know, dreaming of past loved ones. And if you do, those are messages. Take them for what they are. It is them visiting you and trying to communicate something to you. For others of you, in regards to things that keep you up at night or that you're stressed about and you have a dream about that, take that as a message that Spirit is telling you. Take this route. It's going to be easier for you. They're trying to assist you. I see a lot of assistance around. For some of you guys, I do see having the need to want to revamp something about you this could be your image this could be like getting a makeover uh, for you men out there it could be like you start to want to hit the gym or want to like watch what you're eating i see you guys being a little bit more superficial but in a positive sense uh, this is just you having the need 
to revamp something about you or your image or how you present yourself to the world. This is absolutely nothing negative. This is a positive thing because uh, it's almost like this is the energy that you're taking on and you uh, could be feeling on a subconscious level that there's changes coming and you're wanting to tweak certain things to bring yourself more in harmony, uh, which is a positive thing. All right, my lovelies, let's get into, <coughs> excuse me, your reading. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's coming towards Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2021. Yeah, I see a lot of you guys trying to figure out um, something that has to do with your image, something that has to, for you women, it could be like getting a new hairstyle. Uh, it could be like uh, trying out, you know, different clothes than from the one you're used to, that type of energy. Uh, for men, it could be getting a haircut. It could, you know, represent, um, you know, being more self-conscious about the way you present yourself to the world. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I know a few signs are currently going through that makeover, uh, not just in a physical aspect, but in a spiritual way. Um, okay, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2021. What is unfolding for them? All right, let's get into your reading. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician card. The Magician card represents everything to do with materialization. This is you becoming uh, more confident in yourself or knowing your power, knowing that you have all the tools or all the potential to create whatever it is that you're wanting to bring towards your life. This can also represent um, the springtime. So I feel that spring is going to be very important for you guys. Uh, again, we go back to that of the physical aspect. I feel that for a lot of you guys, there's something that is connected to either wanting or already going through the process of some type of revamping your image, your reputation. Um, I see you guys being a little bit more social. I see you guys like really embracing um, this new aspect of you. It's almost like very empowering. Um, for some of you guys, you could be in the process of uh, the understanding of materialization or wanting to materialize something in your life. Now, <clears throat> your next card here is the hanged man. So the hanged man with the magician. These are, it's almost like there's a retro, uh, what is it called? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like self-internalizing, seeing things from a very different perspective. Um, this is, you know, stepping back and realizing uh, where you're at right now and where you want to be. For others of you, you may be dealing with the Pisces type of energy where um, there is some type of, it's almost like I'm feeling Okay, so I'm getting um, two different messages. For some of you guys, it could be almost like a feeling of seeing things from a very different perspective. Um, now, this could be the way you view life. This could be, um, you know, wanting to become more connected with spirit. For some of you guys, becoming more spiritual. For others of you, having the need, having the need to want to connect stronger with spirit. Now, this could be spirituality, this could be religion, this could be whatever it is that you practice. I see you guys like not fully understanding I, and they're very clear on this. For a lot of you guys, you're getting a lot of messages through dreams. And it's almost like you know in the pit of your stomach that something is changing or that something is coming. You're just uncertain about what it is. And this creates a lot of anxiousness. But what they're telling you is not a negative thing. They're just preparing you for the next cycle in your life. Um, for some of you guys, it could be the materialization of something that is unexpected. So as an example, for those of you guys that are single, this could represent that they are preparing you for the next person that's going to be coming into your life that is going to materialize in something long term. Perhaps you've been single for quite a while and there's been a feeling of you can't really connect with anyone or no one really sparks your interest. That's quickly going to be changing and you're going to be able to see things from a very different perspective. For others of you, it could represent, like I said, 
having the need to connect with your spirit, <clears throat> with the spirit realm, having the need to connect either with your ancestors, with past loved ones, with people that are no longer in the physical aspect that may be coming around you or may be trying to give you certain type of messages. Um, so pay attention to that. Now your next card here is the higher font. So the higher font is higher knowledge. This represents um, being guided. For some of you guys, like I said, it could be that you've been on this path of some type of spiritual, uh, some type of spiritual lesson or spiritual awakening or it's almost like you're I keep hearing you're coming into your power um the hierophant indicates a individual you may be dealing with the Taurus but it more than likely it, it, it it's speaking about an individual that is very knowledgeable um and they teach based off of their experiences for some of you guys it could be that you've been dealing with this type of energy for quite a while uh, and there may be certain fears that you hold on to um, that doesn't allow you to fully manifest or come into your own power. Um, and this could be in connection to intuition. This could be in connection with having certain gifts that you kind of been aware of, but you're scared of tapping into. Um, it could be that you're doing law of attraction and you start to manifest all these crazy things and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, is this good or is it bad? So you're questioning certain things that have been taught to you. Uh, what they're telling you is don't, you're the only one that's stopping yourself, Leo. You're the only one that's creating limitations. Don't allow other people or other people's beliefs to uh, create limitations for yourself. Think for yourself is what they're telling me, okay? So just be mindful of that. Now your next card here is the Empress. You have powerful cards, Leo. Oh my God. Okay, before I get into it, let me pull the next one. Okay. <clears throat> so what they're showing me here is with the Hierophant and the Empress, I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're going to be manifesting crazy for the month of March and April. Um, the Hierophant is all about gathering knowledge. It's all about coming into your like understanding on a deeper level the power that you have to bring to your life what it is that you want. For some of you guys, it's love. You have the Empress card here. The Empress is abundance. It's love. It's everything that has to do with beauty, with grace. And it is about being in your own power. If in the past, for those of you guys that are single in the past, you just haven't been able to force yourself to feel something for someone, that's not going to be the issue no more. Why? Because there is a connection that's coming through and it's coming through very strongly here with the higher font, a person that is wanting the longevity or the long term that you're looking for. Commitment is what they're bringing. With the Empress, you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra type of energy that's coming through because we do have the King of Swords here. This is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini type of energy. But with the Empress being present, for some of you guys, it could be uh, a Libra that's coming in or that you may be dealing with for the month of March. What they're telling you here, um, Leo, be fierce when it comes to following or pursuing your goals. So what I mean by that is if you feel this a spark of creativity, if you feel this need to, I don't know, to write, to paint, um, to take on new hobbies, to put yourself out there, do it because this is this is a need this is like your soul is needing some type of expansion. Stop limiting yourself. Stop putting yourself in a box and saying, this is who I am and I'm going to stick with this. No, what Spirit is telling you is embrace new beginnings, new learning, uh, new endeavors that are going to revamp you. It's almost like for some of you guys, you've lost the passion. You've lost the drive and there is a need to shake things up. And the only way to do that is to embrace new beginning. It's to embrace new things, new endeavors, new hobbies, things that are going to really spark your, your passion, revamp you, re-energize you. So again, what they're telling you is stop being so stuck in the mud leo for the month of March and April. It's going to be very important. If you want change in your life, it is up to you. Are you going out of your way and doing things different or are you continuously doing this routine where it's just boring and nothing is changing? If nothing is changing, it means you're not moving. And if you're not moving, you're not progressing. OK. All right. So let's get into. <clears throat> sorry if I speak too fast um, when they're communicating. Um, it just comes through. So I can't really. 
stop myself. Okay, let's see what Spirit's direct message is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, and you have 25. This is relationship. For some of you guys, those of you guys that have been single, there's going to be the material the materialization of a long-term commitment or a relationship that is coming through for you for the month of March. This is relationships, contracts. This is a bond, um, a vow. So again, I feel that there is, you know, if you've been feeling like there's been lack in your love life or things haven't been as exciting, that's quickly going to be changing. There is new opportunities and a new individual that's coming into your life that is going to shake things up for you, uh, that is going to spark the interest or spark the fire in your heart um, to make you see things very differently, perhaps where you've been experiencing a bit of routine. Uh, for those of you guys that are in a relationship, commitment could be around the corner for you guys. Uh, 25 usually indicates some type of commitment, some type of vow, some type of jewelry in itself. So again, for some of you guys taking it to the next level. Um, you know, what they're telling you here is basically you're the only one that's limiting yourself. You're the only one that is stopping you from progress or growth. Stop being, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Cynical when it comes to love. You have to be open to love. You cannot sit, sit there and say, well, you know, I don't believe in love anymore or, you know, my love life is not that exciting. Well, are you opening yourself up or do you have this rigid face and, you know, close off shoulders um, or arms, I should say, when you're like this, uh, that you're giving this vibe of you're unwelcomed. Like, don't come near me. Don't try to hit on me. I'm too good for you. Be humble, Leo, especially when you're trying to invite love into your life. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share and comment and we'll see each other soon. Bye.